if you're about to do an act of ibadah and you want to come closer to Allah, my dear brothers and sisters, you want to come closer to Allah, ask yourself, did the Prophet Sallallahu do this? Did he teach this to the Sahaba? Did the Sahaba do this at all? Did they practice this action that I'm doing? Is this something that the Prophet Sallallahu encouraged? Is this something found in the religion, in any source whatsoever? Now, if this thing that you want to do is not found in the religion of Islam, then no matter who is telling you to do this action, no matter who's telling you to do this and it's okay, protect yourself and don't act upon it. Because you are going to be held accountable for your deeds. The sunnah is something you're rewarded for if you do it. But if you don't do the sunnah, you're not punished because it's mustahab. It's a sunnah. You should try to do it. It shows your love for Allah and His Messenger. But when it comes to bid'ah, you are punished for committing the act. So by leaving it, you have protected yourself in your religion. And you will be rewarded for that. So do not feel bad. Do not feel bad. And nobody will feel bad if they are dying and they missed a part of the sunnah. Because they followed the sunnah as much as possible. But a person who follows bid'ah at the moment of death will